let's talk about the product backlog. The product backlog is a funny sounding word to describe a very simple thing. The backlog is a list of all the things we want to do in a product. It describes all the features, functionalities, integration, and requirements that characterize the work to be done to create the software. In agile software development, a backlog is constructed out of user stories. We begin by very high level user stories that are called epics. They're big stories. Within that big story, there are lots of little stories. Those are the user stories. And a big epic might have a few or a few dozen user stories that, it, that describe the full functionalities that we're trying to convey. An epic might be user management or content management or a shopping cart. And clearly that's not enough description. So within that epic, we'll have a bunch of user stories to describe what, what needs to take place. The backlog is put in order of business value. That means at the top of the backlog is the most important stuff we have to do in the product. And naturally, since it's the most important stuff we have to do in the product, it's the stuff we know the most about. So not only is the backlog in order of most important to perceived lesser important, but at the top of the backlog, the stories are more refined, more elaborated than the ones at the bottom. And it's only natural because when we build the software, the development team will work in a series of two-week time increments that we call sprints. And in each sprint, they'll take a piece of this backlog as the work to do in the sprint. And that becomes known as the sprint backlog. So we have the product backlog, which is the master list of all functionalities. And then a piece of that backlog gets taken every two weeks and put into the sprint backlog for the development team to work on and to deliver.